right, Branko, what are we doing here? So Lily, here we're going to test your selective attention. This is um, a version of a standard cups in a bowl task, except that we are going to make it slightly tastier because instead of a bowl, there will be a jelly bean under one of these cups. I love jelly beans, so I'm really excited about this. Your job at home is to focus on the cup with a jelly bean underneath. With nine cups on the move, it won't be easy. How do you think you went? Did you follow the cup with the jelly bean? If you did, you may not have seen everything that was going on. For example, who saw this mysterious fifth hand? And the blue cups that turn into green cups. Or this fluffy toy fox. Why does this exercise work? Why don't people see the fox, the colour change in the cups or the mystery fifth hand? Yes, it's pretty amazing. This demonstration really effectively shows how big are the gaps in our perception. And these are the gaps that magicians exploit with their tricks. So why do these gaps exist? Probably because uh, otherwise our brain would get overwhelmed with the processing of all the information. When our attention is absorbed in a task, we notice little else. Our brain fills in the rest of our visual field and new information doesn't make it in. And that's not all. Who at home noticed that Branka and I are now both wearing different clothes and ended in a different location from the start of the scene? We are simply not aware of information that is right in front of our eyes. This fox isn't magical. It's not invisible. But chances are, if you're watching for the jelly bean, you didn't see it. It wasn't there.